Now, the Constitutional Court has ruled against the communications minister in relation to the switch-off date for the analog signal. To explain what this means, I'm joined by ENC's Group Executive Legal and Business Affairs, uh, Philippa Rafferty. Uh, to just give us more details, Philippa, can you just please un unpack uh, um, uh, this ruling by the Constitutional Court for us? Sure. Hi, Ms. Echo. It, we at ETV are very happy with the, the ruling by the Constitutional Court uh, mm -hmm. handed down this morning. The Constitutional Court upheld our appeal um, and they found that the, the decision by the Minister to set the analog switch off date to March 30th, uh, 2022 was unlawful. Uh, it also found that the decision to set a deadline for registrations for people to register for a set-top box by the 30th of October was procedurally irrational. Mm -hmm. um, and we feel very happy that the court has, has finally uh, found that it's important to protect the rights of, of people who are particularly the most poorest of the poor people who, who are uh, needed a set-top box in order to receive digital television and that those were the people who were going to be cut off from television um, uh, in, in a few days' time on the 30th of June. Mm. And that was very important in terms of what it meant for the poorest of the poor, you know, Philippa, but what does it mean in terms of uh, the digital migration process? Yes, so, you know, at ETV we've never... We've never stood in the way of, of digital migration. We always have believed that the digital migration process is something that needs to happen, and it should happen, but we were always of the view that it needed to happen uh, procedurally fairly, um, and it needed to follow a process that was fair to all parties. And one of the things that the court um, actually found today was that the consultation process that the minister had embarked on was, was not enough. She, she didn't sufficiently consult with all stakeholders, and particularly with some stakeholders like uh, Media Monitoring Africa and SOS, who, who had joined ETV as, as party to this appeal um, in the court. Um, and, you know, we, we are not standing in the way of, of digital migration. We do believe that it's going to happen. Um, it's important that it happens for the country, um, but we do believe that it needs to happen in a, in a way that is fair for, for everybody and particularly to ensure that people are not cut off uh, from television and particularly for free-to-air television mm. because this is the means by which many people receive information and, and news. Um, and to have a television blackout would be um, a huge infringement of, of their rights. Mm. Um, and the court has, has uh, seen that today. Mm. And that, of course, that right is access to information. Uh, so what does this mean in all essence for our viewers and uh, you know, our viewers at home? Yes, so what it means is that the minister, well, the decision by the minister to, to set the date has been declared unlawful and it's been set aside. So she's going to have to start that process again. She's going to have to consult with stakeholders. We are very much looking forward, as, as ETV, um, and I'm sure that other broadcasters are looking forward to having those consultations with her. And um, we will then uh, be able to set um, a new date um, in the future uh, for when that, when that switch off date is going to be mm. that allows for everybody um, to be properly migrated and for all homes, particularly indigent homes who require a sector box um, and a government subsidy to be able to get that box before the switch off happens. Mm.